I always enjoyed art when I was growing up. My father, being an artist, really helped. He would always bring home new brushes or pens or some kind of art supply that I could practice with or draw with or paint with. As I got older, I helped my dad paint motorcycles and I got to paint some motorcycle tanks and it was just a pretty epic experience. And so I kind of had my, my heart set on being an artist and I didn't really know like what that would be like. I ended up moving to San Diego when I was 20 and I was down there and I was doing some freelance art here and there and kind of working all these shitty jobs for a long time and then eventually a friend of mine introduced me to a tattoo artist he was friends with and I got to learn how to tattoo. I got an apprenticeship and I started tattooing and through tattooing it taught me how to create designs that were that were something for the skin and so by doing that it taught me how to just design in general and so a lot of the tattoo designs I do and the, and the hand-painted flash I make translates over to just creating a design from scratch on paper and, and that's it's really helped design the, the products, even even the glove designs, just sketching up designs for the gloves and getting that to a manufacturer that can put that into production. It's, it's been priceless. Had I not been an artist or not known how to design anything, I don't think that the designs would have come out as good. The name Speed came from motorcycle and classic car speed shop, where you would go get your car or motorcycle worked on, painted, all that kind of stuff. And they have them all over the world. And so that was a classic name for something like that. And so I thought Speed was a great throwback to that. Speed's about living your life and having fun and feeling that freedom. And it's about all that stuff. And it's it's a hard thing these days, you know, freedom, you know, who knows what freedom really is. But when you're riding your motorcycle and you're not thinking about anything else but that, it's a real freeing feeling, whether it's on, you're on a skateboard, you're on a motorcycle, or you're just having a good time. It's that's that's when you're most free. And so I thought speed is something that gives you some kind of freedom. Um, these are some of the originals from the Eagle Thermal, and then this is for the, the sweatshirt. I did them all on this tracing paper first. Use some of these some of these markers to get and to make it make it as clean as possible. And these leathers designed for it. Some of the new designs that I'm working on this rose with the checkers it's for a girls' T-shirt. It gets vectored by Youth Energy. He cleans up everything and so I left like this. He used the, he used the lettering to put, put in this banner here. And this one I did for the cheetah. This this got put here. And that's for our sweatshirt. This is how the original process comes. And that's the next step. And then this is the final after this part took out less of this I think it looked better overall my father painted motorcycles when I was a kid and he took my brother and I to this bike show tattoo convention that easy riders put on and it was amazing so growing up around motorcycles and that culture and getting brought to this tattoo convention and being interested in art my whole life I was I think I was about 14 years old and it just spoke out to me my brother and I have been riding motorcycles for a long time together and I've had a couple accidents. The motorcycle gloves I was wearing were, were deerskin leather and they saved my hands. And so it kind of gave me this idea and my wheels started turning and those gloves were made in America and I, I thought making something that's made in America kind of sets a different level than all the stuff that's made overseas. Creating something here is what I wanted to do. We found a leather glove manufacturer in Bend, Oregon, and I, I drew up designs, tried to figure out what would be the most comfortable and kind of like timeless looking, something that would protect your hands in a fall. The gloves I was wearing in my crash, they were scratched up and messed up, but they didn't, didn't come all the way through. There was no holes. And so, you know, being an artist, my hands were saved from wearing a good pair of gloves. So I thought if I brought that out 
to people and it might save some other people's hands in the in the future. I thought it was important to kind of share that with the world and share that with the, the motorcycle industry. It's an important thing to wear proper gear. People don't want to wear gloves or they don't want to wear a helmet or they don't want to wear boots. Some of those simple things can just, you know, save your ankle, save your hands and save your head. So you don't think about surviving a crash so much as you're just like, oh, I'll be done, I'll be dead. But then you're like, oh, I survived a motorcycle accident and my hands are still okay. And so I think that was a big part of the reason of going into the motorcycle gloves is actually you know having these things happen to me i thought it was an important thing to get quality gloves out to motorcycle riders and something that's just different where it's more of a classic look maybe it's like you don't want to wear gloves all the time but these ones are easy to slip on and they're going to save your hands in an accident my name is paul dobelman and speed is about freedom